Okay, you guys, one of my very favorite videos ever is to watch dupe videos and I love finding dupes for you guys. It is so much fun for me to be able to find things that really can stand out and you can save your money. And in lots of these things, they're things that are so much better at the drugstore than they are out there on high end or prestige or luxury. And I am bringing those to you today. So, so if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing and becoming a part of our YouTube family. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you do like dupe videos, I would really appreciate that. It does help generate my video more out there into YouTube land. And so we're gonna get into high-end makeup that I replaced at the drugstore right now. So my very first dupe is for the It Cosmetics CC Cream that we all love so much. And the reason that this one is in the matte one, I love the original formula. I think a little bit more than this, but I did get this and I'm using it up. This one has an SPF of 40. The original one has an SPF of 50. And mine is in light. Now light is a good shade for me in the summertime. I do have to a little bit of color correct on this one because it is a little bit um, too on the warm side, but I love it. It's beautiful on the skin. I love how long it lasts and it has this poreless finish. It's full coverage. I absolutely love this stuff, but you guys, this number seven product that they came out with not very long ago, Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation, hydrating, age-defying, medium coverage with a sunscreen of SPF. This is not medium coverage, I don't feel like. It feels very lightweight, but for me, it's a full coverage foundation. And I wear mine in cool ivory, just so you know, this shade is perfect for me. It is, I don't have to color correct it at all. I don't have to lighten it, darken it, anything. It's just absolutely perfect for my, my natural skin when I'm not tanning. I can warm it up in the summertime with a little bit of bronzer if I want to, but this color is so good for me and I love that they have the cool and warm tones instead of just one tone like the IT Cosmetics does. This lays down spectacular on the skin. I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful it is on the skin, but this is it's so much better in my opinion than the IT Cosmetics and I just think it's fantastic. So this is one fluid ounce and this is 1.08 fluid ounces. So really close in the amount you're getting, not, not a whole lot different. This one is a squeeze tube, um, just so you know. And then the IT Cosmetics is a little pump tube on it. Um, you do get a pump on the end of there. So I do like the pump better, but the squeeze one works just as good for me. Um, I actually feel like you almost get everything out when you're using a squeeze tube as compared to this, even though I cut them open and I get every last drop of them. But I really would recommend that if you've want, been wanting to try the It Cosmetics, but you can't afford it, go for the number seven. And I know that this is a little bit more pricey for a drugstore foundation, but I'm telling you it is so, so worth it. So definitely for me was a hit as far as being a dead on dupe. Now this one I'm excited about because during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I got the Naked Reloaded palette. I don't have one Naked palette except for this one and I know you guys are gonna think that is so weird, but um, I really have been enjoying this. I've been enjoying, even though that it does have a lot of warm shades in here, I've been enjoying this peach tone right here. I really like the way that they blend out and I really like the lasting power on them, but they're very creamy. And I like the metallic colors in here. They're not like over the top, but they're very nice on the lids, especially if you're somebody that can't wear, you know, a high metallic on your lid because of texture. This is a nice palette. And I really have been enjoying that one and making, you know, doing different, very neutral looks. But I'll tell you guys that when I got it, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Didn't I just get that palette from Maybelline in the Nudes of New York palette? And look at it, you guys. Look at how close they are. And so many of these colors are so close. Now I will say that this color right here, which is a high metallic, there really isn't a dupe for it in here, but this color that is right there, which is just a pretty color as far as being put on the lids, it's so pretty um, and it can be built up to be close to that color. So I'm not gonna swatch this for time's sake, but this is honestly, if you've been thinking about you wanted this Naked Reloaded palette, this replaced the number one palette, their number one palette. Um, not their number one palette, their original Naked palette. This palette is so close. Plus you do get a few extra colors in the Maybelline one. This one has 12 and this one has 16. And I actually like that they gave you just a couple of little, you know, very 
cool tones over here. I love this mauve for being a transition color. So I really love these, you guys. I love the color scheme that they did in here. All of them are different. They do complement each other so well, so you can dip into whichever one you want to in here, and they're so pretty. And so I like the consistency of them. I like how buttery they are. I like the lasting power on them. I just think that they did a really fantastic job with all of them. So I would definitely recommend it to you. It does have a lot of pigmentation, as you can see as I'm swatching it right there. And uh, for me, it was just, yeah, again, hit it out of the park. Love it. So glad that I found that it was a dupe. I did my Sephora uh, recommendations for the VIB sale. And I showed you so many of the high-end products that I love and I'm like, you know what? I bet that I have dupes for every single one. One of those products that I showed you was the Clinique Clinique Cheek Pops, which I love these, you guys. They're a little bit stiffer of a, of a product. They're, you know, along the lines of a blush that it has a little bit stiffer of a formula. But I like them, one, because they last on your cheeks like crazy, and the other is because I love the pigmentation in there. It's just gorgeous. And this one is called Heather Pop. And it's just the perfect pinky color for spring for me. And I can really, you know, wash that out and it just be a beautiful color. I don't have to wear it as stark as it is there in the pan. But as I was looking at them, I'm, I'm going, I don't have that many high-end blushes, but boy, I got a lot of drugstore. And I came across the one from Flower Beauty. This is Sweet Pea. And these are the Flower Pots blush from F Flower Beauty. And as I got to swatching them and I got to looking at them, I'm thinking, Okay, that is pretty darn close. Now the Clinique is just a tiny bit brighter, I will say that, but this one is really, really close. The texture is almost exactly the same. And the reason that I like these flower pots from Flower Beauty so much is because they really have a great lasting power too. So I was just like, okay, that is just too close for me not to show it to you guys. So even though it does look a little bit different in the pot right here, those are and so it, close. When you got them on your cheeks, there's no way you'd be able to tell, but this hefty price tag as compared to the Flower Beauty one, I just think you couldn't go wrong. So that's my next dupe. And then during the 21 Days of Beauty, I also discovered from Persona Cosmetics, their lip glosses, which I really like. And I was really, really surprised at how pretty these are. And I think this one just says pink gloss. Yes, this just says pink gloss from um, Persona Cosmetics. Such pretty, such a pretty color and the vibrancy of it is there. And they aren't like completely opaque, but they give you a really nice flush of color on your lips. And I was going, you know what? Maybe my favorite color from the drugstore that I wear all the time is a dupe for that. And maybe that's why I like it so much. So here is Tiramisu from NYX. You guys, I am in love with tiramisu. I have been wearing it for years and years and years. And I think that's why I was so drawn to that Persona one. Now the Persona one does have just a little bit more coral in it, but this texture and the staying power and the opaqueness and you know how they have that little bit of sheer breakthrough on them is exactly the same, identical. And the formula is identical to each other. And I just thought, there's no way if you got that on your lips that you'd be able to tell that there's any difference. And even here on camera, unless you're right up here with me and you see that there is just like maybe a hint darker on tiramisu than there is on the person. Absolutely love that there is a dupe for those. Those are beautiful, beautiful lip glosses but these are $5. So I just felt like you couldn't really go wrong there. Now, another thing on my list during the Sephora VIB was this highlighter and I love it. This is from Becca. This is their Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighters and this one is in Prismatic Amethyst and it's a beautiful color that shifts between, it's kind of an icy color and it shifts between pink and it shifts between purple and it's absolutely beautiful. It's just one of those colors that you get it on and it just is so interesting with any blush or anything that you wear. And I love wearing this across my lid. It is so pretty with any pink look, any purple look, any mauve look that you're doing. It's just so beautiful with it. And so I wanted to show you the dupe. And I know that I have put this in a dupes video before, but this bears repeating because this is the exact dupe for it, even in texture. And it's the Essence Pure Nude Space Light. 
And the reason that I am so impressed is because the texture of the Becca one is so different than the highlights that we get nowadays where it's more like um, you get that strobing beaming. This is the very lit within look. Uh, I know that it looks really strong right there on my hand, but on the cheeks, it's not so stark that you can't look at it and go, okay, I can build that up or I can leave it really light. And you guys know if you have the pure nude, just the regular highlighter, how nice that highlighter is and how soft it can be. And you can get the same thing with this one if you like that kind of highlight, but honestly, I use this on my lid and I use it constantly because of how brightening and how beautiful it is. And on the lid, if you're a mature woman, it doesn't show up a bunch of texture either. So dead on dupe, I, I had to share it with you guys again because I love it so much. All right, next is from Fenty Beauty. I got these little glosses in a five piece tin during the holidays. I think that it's still available on Sephora, but this is confetti. I'm not sure if she's come out with the big one yet or not. What it is, it's kind of a milky, creamy, um, just a lip gloss that has like a touch of reflect in it without having too much um, color in it. And that's kind of what all those glosses are. They're just really kind of sheer and pretty. But from Milani, you can get the exact dupe. And this one is, let's see if I can read that without my glasses. This is in Moonlight. These two colors are really the same. So if you can't shop at Sephora or you can't really shop off of FentyBeauty.com, you can go to Walmart and you could pick up this Milani one and they are exactly the same. The, it's not like they aren't the same color or anything. I actually like the, the smell of the Milani one a little bit better and it is a plumping one. And I like that little bit of cooling effect that it gives on your lips a little bit better too. So I actually do like this one quite a bit better than the Fenty Gloss. And then the last one I'm going to leave you with is one that I also got during the 21 Days of Beauty and it is from Urban Decay. I am a huge Vice Lipstick Fiend. I mean, when they go on sale, I usually pick up one or two because I just know that the formula is so good and I'm going to absolutely love it. And this one right here is in Native. And Native is a beautiful nude pink color. It's just one of those ones when I put it on, I'm like, it feels so buttery on my lips. And I love the pink tone in it, even though it's almost on the neutral side of pink, it's not super duper cool. Um, but it is pink. So if you're looking for a peachy one, this wouldn't be one would not be for you But I did find the dupe for it in Maybelline now Maybelline lipsticks are my absolute love at the drugstore as far as any lipsticks go They always deliver they always give the same quality and they're very inexpensive and I love that So this one right here, which is the dupe for it This one I is called born with it and I believe this one from Maybelline it might be a fairly new one to their line but look at how nice they are together and how exact they are as far as being their color. I feel like their formulas are exactly the same too. You're getting a very quality product on both of them. You're getting some really good lasting power. You're getting creaminess if you have older lips that you might have lines in. You're getting that creaminess that helps build that pout that you need um, if your lips are getting thinner. I just I love them. I love them both. But to save the money is like, yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think so. So yeah, definitely. So that is everything you know what I, I would love from you guys. I would love to hear about dupes from you guys. So if you have dupes that you know about that um, aren't really widely known, or maybe they're even widely known, I don't care. But if you have dupes that you really are impressed by, I would love to hear that in the comment section below because I'm always looking for really good dupes. And then I could go ahead and share it with everybody because I always love to learn from you guys. So I hope that everybody is doing really well today. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. And I hope everybody is staying safe, stay sanitized. Love you guys so very much. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>